Hello and welcome to Alcohol Aware This Week. We're here today because Alcohol Aware This Week is focusing on mental health, which is really important to all of us. My name is Lois Dugmore and I'm a nurse consultant in dual diagnosis. And my name is Saskia Baudart, I'm a senior recovery worker with Turning Point in Leicester and I'm also a dual diagnosis lead within our service. Um, this week uh, we'd like to focus on um, alcohol because we see a lot of people together in our clinic, our outpatients clinic at the Rudgate unit, people who are struggling with drug and alcohol issues. With regards to people struggling with um, alcohol problems, we triage people in our clinic who struggle with their drinking. Uh, it can affect people on lots of levels, on a physical health level, but also on a mental health level. Within mental health and substance misuse services, we're always open to talking about both issues. One of the key things that we find that alcohol is quite often used as a coping strategy for mental health issues. We know that the whole of the population likes to use alcohol and it's quite a common theme through society. I mean, many of us know that during COVID it has become an increasing issue in terms of people using alcohol to cope during the pandemic. One of the things we'd like to sort of dispel is that Alcohol does not solve mental health issues. In fact, it can impact on people's mental health and actually make those issues worse. Long-term use can lead to greater problems. It can also affect many functions within the brain. What we'd like to allow people to do is get encourage people to actually access services. If you're starting to drink and you think that it's actually becoming a problem for you, talk to somebody. Talk to your GP, talk to your mental health nurse, Talk to the substance misuse service if you think the problem is increasing. We know that it will impact on depression and anxiety and make those symptoms much worse. We know that it will affect people who have any form of psychosis. And we know for the generic, generic population, the more we drink, the more depressed that we become. We initially think we feel that we're having a good time with the life and soul of the party. But actually, when you talk to your friends, do they really think you're the life and soul of the party? Probably not. They probably have yet to tell you that they think you have a problem. Start to look and identify what you think may be the issue. Are you needing to drink first thing in the morning? If you are, then maybe that's something that you need to think about. Most people would not think of getting up at seven, eight, nine in the morning and starting to drink alcohol. That is one of the indicators that you have an issue. Craving a drink because you can't think about anything else. Basing all your activities around alcohol can also be a sign that it is a problem. We know that alcohol is the easy thing to reach out and get. It's easily available. Everybody seems to do it. But actually not everybody has a problem with it. So if you're beginning to think it's a problem, somebody else is identifying it, then we have many ways in which you can access services to gain help. And one of those services is a turning point substance misuse service within Leicester. We cover Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. Um, we offer one-to-one -one support to people at the moment. Um, we are open to working with people who may initially think that their alcohol is becoming a problem, but they're not dependent, but it is a problem. But we also work with people who are dependently drinking. We do lots of... Um, group sessions as well which are at the moment offered on a one-to-one -one basis so um, people can also access e-modules with us online so if people are feeling more comfortable behind the computer then that's another uh, solution that can be offered to people through turning point and i'd like also um, to provide a um, website that people can access it's www.alcoholchange.org.uk as an alternative to turning point Remember, your GP can also offer assistance and your mental health practitioner if you're already open to services. Don't be afraid to ask. There are lots and lots of people out there who are willing to help and change is always possible. Thank you.